Hey guys, I'm Josh. Welcome back to our building channel. I uh, just want to show you something that I'm pretty stoked about, I'm pretty proud of. Um, installing these little beams. Uh, we are working on the interior finishes of our farmhouse build series and just wanted to kind of show you how we actually install these wood beams. We did show you on another video how we actually built them. Um, now we are going to be doing the install and it was a little longer install than I, I hoped, but uh, it took just time because the size and the height of the, the floor to go up, down, up, down. But I think it came out really sharp. Um, it was worth putting in whatever time I put in because whatever you put in something, I feel like you will get out. So if you have, want to put in the hard work and are determined and have patience, it'll come out nice. So um, that's what we tried to apply as we were doing our beams and it came out really sharp, I think. So I'm gonna just kind of show you in this video how we install these beams. If you like this video, hit that like and subscribe button. If you're gonna get notifications of our new videos, hit that bell button. And we're just gonna kind of dive right on into it. snap line here I kind of calculated where I want my, this is my last beam I'm going to do so I'm kind of going to show you and tell you how I did it so I got a snap line um, I do have a light here it's going to be a ceiling fan that I'm going to integrate but most people probably don't have that problem but what I'm going to do is block it down just kind of like I did this one over here if you can see it I don't know if you can see it or not right there so I boxed it down and the ceiling fan will actually be coming out of there but so I got my snap line up here. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting some cleats right here. And up in here. And basically what it is is it's just I ripped up some boards down here to the inside depth of my beam. Um, just like those. So it's going to be another beam just like that one. And my inside dimension is like six inches. So I took my board and ripped a two by eight on a table saw and to six inches, just slightly smaller than the box beam. So it'll slip right over it. But I'm gonna go ahead and attach it up in here. Um, now, 
depending on your framing or if it's a floor, like a flat floor, you want to make sure you hit your joist. I got a truss. Trusses are here and here, but I went ahead before the drywall went up and I put blocking every two foot in here. Now, if you don't have that, you could put some drywall anchors up and glue and screw a block up and let it dry. It will hold the box beam um, just because they're not that heavy. But if you can hit wood, you want to hit wood. So I'm going to go ahead and attach some a block here and a block here and um, get that ready so I can uh, cut my beam and actually test fit it. Okay guys, so to calculate, now that I got my uh, cleats on there and there, um, I'll still deal with that later, but to show you how to, I'm gonna calculate how to cut my beam, the, the profile I want, I'm gonna be using this uh, tool called a T-bevel. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. I call it my angle finder. And what I can do is I can put this up on the ceiling and then this on the wall and then you can clamp it down. And then I will go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the bottom of my beam to whatever angle this is. It should be like a two and a half, 12 pitch, but I'm going to go ahead and do that and then go cut the bottom. And then after it, I cut the bottom, I'm going to measure to the top and figure out what my length is. I'm going to probably cut it a little bit longer because it's always safe. And then I'm going to figure out what my angle is up there. And then I will get some help and I'm going to test fit this uh, beam out. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to prepare to cut this beam. Let's see, this was kind of looking like. So I'm gonna make this my bottom. I'm gonna cut this angle right here. I got my angle figured out with using this tool by holding up against the wall and the ceiling. Um, but I was gonna just tell you a quick tip before I make my mark. A good way when you're cutting um, is you want to I don't want to chip this wood, so a t uh, trick I've learned is you can take like some masking tape and you tape it and then you make your mark on it and you cut through and then what it does is it kind of keeps the wood as you, your blade goes through it from splintering out. So when I make cuts on a finished product like that, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use a, a good blade and um, high RPM saw so it, it runs fast enough. Um, there's no way to cut this with um, a miter saw, it's too big, so I'm going to use a free hand and make a mark and then cut on my profile all the way around. Um, it is hard to get it perfect, but I'm going to do my best and uh, it actually works out pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, end cut.
we've got our beam test fitted, it fits good. We only had to cut it like 10 times. We had to trim the top, trim the miters, but we think we got it. We got my blocking ready for my ceiling fan up here. Uh, quick tip, we put tape where my blocks are, my cleats are, so I know exactly where to put my nails on once the beam's up because I won't be able to see and I'm trying not to put pencil marks on more than I have to. So we're just gonna take some construction adhesive, wherever those cleaning is on the beam. Um, and we're gonna use trim nails as well. But uh, this stuff would probably hold by itself, but the nails will help it until it sets. So we're just gonna hit head and glue in the beam before we put it up. So Alright guys, so this is the beam that we were installing the other night. Um, I got it done and I actually got this light hung and my wife did some painting. But I kind of wanted to come back and kind of show you how it came out. We did cut this beam almost like eight times and I'll kind of explain and show you why. So this miter came out really nice. Try to always make sure push these tight along the beam even if there's a slight gap down there. But up here, here's why I had to keep on cutting. Because if the drywall had a little bit of a wave, um, and if the board is straight or not straight, it'll sh put a gap in spots and hit tight in other spots. So I went ahead and uh, ripped this down freehand with the skill saw over and over and over until I finally got it. But I'm really happy with the end result. Uh, I did have to do this with a couple of them, not all of them but it took a lot more time because of that. And um, I just finally cut it to where I could live with it. Um, but I'm happy with the end result. It came out pretty close to, not quite perfect, but pretty close um, as it did all of them. So I got three on this one side, two on that side, and then the middle. Um, but I think it looks really nice. It did take some time because I had to go up and down, up and down, up and down, and they're really big. Um, like this one right here is 16, and these sides are like 14 and a half feet. So they were kind of heavy, even though they were made out of cedar. But um, I had some help with my wife. I couldn't have done it without her, and actually one of her friends came out one day and it helped us out a lot, so. But they seem really stout. They hold really good. Um, love the look. I think it was well worth the time and effort because it did take a few days um, to install and another few days to build so um, but I think it added value to the home I love the look I'm just very proud of it um, even though um, they're not quite perfect you know I, I put in the effort to try to make them where I could live with it and I think any whatever you put in something is worth uh, put it, putting in because you'll get it out if you go really fast in something and speed um, then it probably won't come out as nice so took our time on the install it came out nice so if you guys like these videos hit that like and subscribe button get notifications on that bell button and until next time guys josh out